Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Um, jumping on today to share with you a couple of online hauls um, that I've recently purchased. Um, first haul is from Scrapbook, scrap, scrapbook.com, I should say. And the second haul is from Sassy Scrappers, which is an Australian online store. So um, I ordered some things from scrapbook.com. Oh, opened that the wrong way, didn't I? Now, I needed an update on some of my Maggie Homes. So a lot of this you'll find is from um, Crepe Paper or Maggie Homes. Um, but I also wanted a couple of new collections as well, which I looked at and thought looked really cute and fun and pretty. So I think mostly from scrapbook.com, I purchased two new collections. Um, so... First collection I'll show you is a new Dear Lizzie collection. Um, let's see, what is it called? Just trying to see where it'll tell me what this collection is called. For some reason, a lot of the Dear Lizzie um, collections, they don't actually say on the back what they're called and delightful okay so <laughs> we have dear lizzie's new collection delightful so these are like the little um floral embellishment um stickers and i thought they looked really pretty so i grabbed a pack of those I just grabbed sort of one of each thing because I wasn't too sure, you know, whether or not I'm going to like it or, yeah, so I just grabbed one of everything and then if I do like it, I can always order more. So as you guys can see there, they're quite pretty colours. It sort of reminded me of um, spring and summer and here in Australia, we're in spring at the moment and you know, just bright, colourful, sunny days, like, yeah, makes me happy. <laughs> so there's the embellishments. And then they did some um, little, like, buttons, which I thought looked really cute. I thought these look great, you know, on, on a tag flip or an album or something like that. So... So I sort of got one of everything, basically, of, of the Dear Lizzie collection. I think they're really, they're quite cute. And then they did some, like these tiny little glitter epoxy stickers. And as you guys can see there, they are really cute. And they have speckles of, of glitter through them. Kind of similar to the ones that I've recently been making. Like, you know, when you do your, your bottle caps and things like that. You can actually buy um, the epo epoxy adhesive um, domes and things like that. You know, from AliExpress and places like that. So, but anyway, I thought I'd get these. They come with the collection. And there's lots of cute little... Um, cats in this collection by the looks of it cats birds florals cameras rainbows look at those little hearts like look at that heart there that floral one that is just gorgeous so really pretty collection um we've got the puffy stickers Lots and lots of rainbows and florals and birds. And as you can hear, my bird Sunny in the background. She's also saying hello again today. These are like the um, thickers, but they're like a hard, they're sort of chipboard. 
sort of like your chipboard figures. And there's sort of um, like silver elements to this collection, as you guys can sort of see there. It's got silver in it and a little bit of um, holographic, but really pretty. I just thought this collection would be really nice to work with for spring and summer. Lots of beautiful colours. Very vibrant. Look at that. So pretty. Um, what else is a part of that collection? The sticker pack. It's sort of got um, a shimmer to it as well. Almost like holographic um, shine to these stickers. Cute cute typewriter the teacups I think it's that's one of the things I loved what I loved about this and why I um I purchased it is that I saw the teapots the teacups the typewriter um you know the florals and the birds and I just went yep let's see how this collection you know works out for me A vintage telephones like look at these little like tea canisters here like how gorgeous are they like your vintage tea canisters so cute look, a little um, Walkman there so all kinds of different fun things in there um, got the ephemera pack it's got lots of gorgeous um, florals in it by the looks of it and lots of tickets. And you guys know I love my tickets. I think they make a great element to, um, to your happy mail. So by the looks of it, so this is the top pieces here. So you get some florals, some crystals, a pretty pink teacup, a vintage radio, and a camera and then some other like sort of smaller floral ephemera pieces there and then the um, the bigger section you get it looks like a lot of bigger sort of and medium sized pieces which is really good that they are doing a variety of different sizes so you've got lots of tickets in here lots of tickets Quite a few pretty teacups. Like I think I'll have fun working with the teacups. Um, sort of like your postcard sort of little pieces and similar to the stationery packs, basically. So they're really cute. So that looks like a gorgeous um, there. I think I'm going to have fun working with this collection. It looks quite pretty from what I can see. And then I just grabbed the, um, oh, it's called She's Magic. Did I say that before? I think I told you the wrong thing. Because what did they say on here? It says delightful. So I think that's because um, usually with the thickers, for some reason, they always call them something different um than the collection just i don't know why <laughs> but um so sorry so this collection is called she's magic and i told you the wrong thing before so i'm sorry about that guys it's funny how they trick you with um with the thickers like that right, dear lizzie she's magical so I loved that it had, you see, like your rainbows, your holographic. I loved the image, like that it's got cute girls in it as well and, and your tickets. So this looks like a gorgeous paper pad with holographic um, elements to it. You've got your cutter parts in there. Like I said, see, you've got some cats as well. 
for those that you know that love cats i actually have quite a few um pen pals that that love cats so and we've got the cute girl image in there we've got a pink typewriter some florals some birds some stripes so really pretty really pretty i don't know if i'll use this because it's red like you guys know i'm not i'm not a fan of red um i'll use it in maybe christmas mail and valentine's but other than that i won't use red like it's not really a color that you know appeals to me if that makes sense or oh, look at that it's like a pink holographic sort of um, pattern really pretty got some tickets which you could fussy cut out if you like some crosses beautiful like floral with um, sort of silver holographic in there some love hearts some stripes another sort of red one with holographic more florals green some pretty like um, cut apart pieces and then it's just basically um, same sort of patterns again by the look oh no some of those different it looks like there's okay yeah so there are some yeah double ups so you get double ups of of each um each pattern so that's really pretty um i think that's it for that collection so that's the she's magic collection quite pretty as you guys can can see there like that look at that gorgeous colorful collection so there we go dear lizzie she's magic i'll say that again because you know i said it wrong the first time <laughs> and next um i purchased a few of the um is it the prima um dolce I think that's how you say it dolce and um yeah i saw quite a few people hauling this this collection and i just wanted to grab some of it not all of it because i have bought prima in the past and to be honest i kind of i, I didn't really enjoy it as much as i thought i would um and I sort of haven't been able to um, to craft with it. So I just wanted to get a few of the Dolce um, so I can incorporate it with my Maggie Holmes carousel collection. So I just ended up getting the puffy stickers because I thought, you know, I could I could use like the carousel horse and, you know, like your... Um, fairy floss and your ice creams and things like that you could incorporate that with um like i said carousel and other sort of carnival themed collections and you know you're pretty tickets so it could basically go with any sort of um collection really that's got your pretty pastel colors so they're the puffy stickers they're really cute so then I grabbed some of the chipboard stickers. So it's 39 pieces and they've got sort of silver holographic elements to them as well. And I'm one of those people like I find clowns are scary. <laughs> like I think clowns are the scary one of the scariest things around. So, but I really like the vintage, like this vintage clown here with the pink light. I think that's really cute. So, it's probably the only clown that I've ever really liked. <laughs> so, and lots of pretty fairy floss teacups, you know, with with cupcakes. So, 
and they're quite um quite pretty so yeah i only just grabbed a few pieces i love the the bingo one there and the and the tickets but yeah i didn't know you know if i'd be be using a lot of it so that's why i only got some pieces um i grabbed the charms as well because i thought they looked quite cute i mainly loved this um like the unicorn charm here and i found some on aliexpress actually but the cost of them on aliexpress oh my gosh it was crazy guys like it was going to cost me 20 dollars to get four unicorn charms from aliexpress i was like nope so i just thought i'd grab these ones they worked out much cheaper than than twenty dollars so um you've got the cute ice cream in that a lollipop and like a little fairy floss um charm and i thought these would be really cute just to hang on your tag flips or to make a charm or um you know yeah hang them on on an album or a planner so that's why I grabbed those. I grabbed some of the ephemera. Um, I grabbed the two different packs of ephemera. So you got some like florals in here and they're sort of more, I guess like your square sort of piece um, ephemera. You don't sort of get a lot of shapes. And I guess that's sort of one of the reasons why I don't buy Prima a lot as well. Like the last Prima collection I bought was like, it's really pretty, but you don't get a lot of ephemera. And that's sort of the only problem I have with, with um, the Prima collection. So other than that, like they're really beautiful, but I think they just need to incorporate more, um, more, I guess, um, shaped sort of ephemera you know like um not just your square and your rectangle pieces basically i like to use shapes in a lot of my projects so which is why crepe paper and um maggie holmes and you know dear lizzie and all those sorts of ones like they appeal to me because of all the different sizes and shapes of and the quantity of ephemera that you get in the in the packaging so um yeah there's that one and then there's this one as well this one has a few more pieces in it which is really cute so this is what i like a lot more of these sort of shaped pieces so cute cute carousel horse um cute bear like it would be wonderful if you could get more than one piece in in a in a ephemera pack as well kind of similar to um like rosie's studio and the reject shop their collections they actually inc include quite a few of the same piece in each ephemera pack so you're getting quite a lot of it um a lot of collections these days like by american crafts and that they don't do like you only get one of each piece so then you sort of have to buy you know five packets like you know because and you want to hoard your favorite pieces do you know what i mean <laughs> i don't hoard them like i use everything but that's what i'm saying like you know if i wanted more of these i'd have to buy more packets to get more but anyway i'm not complaining i'm not <laughs> It looks really pretty. You've got some pretty tags in there as well by the looks of it. And then I just got some of the big, um, like the cut aparts, because you guys know I like my cut aparts. Um, I didn't buy the paper pad, because like I said, I, I thought that maybe I could incorporate the paper pad Oh, sorry, these pieces I can incorporate with other collections. So that was sort of the idea behind that. That's um, So, 
And these pieces still too, like they're going to be quite hard to cut out because it's like they've included it all together. Like it doesn't, like I'm not actually getting a whole piece here, if that makes sense. Like you're going to be losing half your square if you're wanting to cut out this piece here. So for me... I don't know, I mustn't have looked at it properly when I did it, but I can sort of only cut out a few pieces here that are going to be in full. And then the rest, it's like I'm going to be sort of wasting some of it or it's it's going to be turned into to scraps, basically. So, you know, like even this, like, clown on the corner here, it's still going to show, like, bits of... Of this ice cream and yeah I'm, I'm not really um but I guess I could always use the tickets that are on the other side to fussy cut fussy cut out if I wanted to um, like maybe cut out my square pieces and then the bits that aren't full squares maybe I could maybe get some tickets out of it um this one looks a bit better but yeah i've just noticed they're kind of all all the images sort of mush into one one sort of um see like even this this carousel horse is then going on to that next sort of cut apart there i don't know if you guys can see that see the horse is gone into the next image the same with this this ticket it's sort of i don't know the way they've they've done it it's kind of it's a little it's a little odd a little odd like this is really cute this would be perfect for valentine's day actually this this image here and then the other side you just got like teacups and fairy floss and um like a floral bouquet basically it's like a floral donut ice cream cone and then this one here this one's better because this looks like it's a full cut apart sort of page um you've got a really big piece here sweet and fluffy cotton candy so these ones are full squares that i can cut out without it going into the next sort of image so that one's much better i'm quite happy with that one and i love this side here with the pink um newspaper sort of style um images there i think that's really cute I love that it's it's a pink sort of newspaper. And then this one here as well, which I think I grabbed. Yeah, so I grabbed a couple of sheets of this one um, because it's like the perfect um, cut apart size that I use for when I'm doing like my tag flips. And these ones don't run into each other either, the images. So that's really good. So I grabbed a couple of these ones because these, to me, are like the perfect um, size cut aparts. So, and then on the back, it's just got like the, this Prima sort of used this image in a lot of their, kind of like a galaxy style, um, you know, it looks like clouds and space and stuff on the other side like a marble sort of effect and oh it looks like I also grabbed just one of the um she's magic by dear Lizzie cut aparts as well just one sheet of that so these are great they're like the perfect size I love this you know cute girl on there and all these sort of pretty images look we've got a typewriter over here a vintage phone, an ice cream with a floral piece. So they're quite nice. 
Okay, so oh, I also grabbed some more of the All Heart tassels because they're starting to run out of All Heart now, I've noticed, and it's one of my favourite collections. So I had to get more, more of these. So sorry, I'm getting really um really puffed and my nose is running, so <laughs> I also grabbed some um, more of these carousel um, enamel stickers because I used up my last packet. So, um, yeah, I wanted another packet. I want to get things before, you know, they disappear for good. Like, I like to always keep building up my Maggie Homes because I'm using it all the time. So once I use it, then I, I need to get more and and then they go out of stock so um, that's why I got those so there we go some Dolce some Maggie Holmes and some dear Lizzie she's magic that is from scrapbook.com and so next is from um, we have stuff from sassy scrappers So, and she looks like she sent me some gold sequins as a bonus. So thank you so much. I love gold sequins. That is a great, like, a bonus gift because I didn't order these. Sometimes she just gives little chockies or just something, you know, she includes when you purchase something, which I think is great, um, great service, to be honest. So, um... I ordered some Coco Vanilla um, Unforgettable like bows and tassels. I thought they'd be really cute to incorporate with some spring or summer mail, like especially the tassels. They're made differently to how, um, how the other tassels that we usually get are. Like they're not your sort of material or your paper tassel, they're sort of made out of, it it's almost looks like a plasticky sort of tissue paper, but not, I'm not too sure what this um, product is called, kind of like your straw maybe, it's like a straw sort of, but anyway, I thought, yeah, they'd be different and, and fun to use to incorporate onto tag flips or whatever. And then it came with some little bows as well, which you could incorporate into your mail. So I thought I'd try those out and see how they go, because I could use them with anything. Um, then I grabbed some more Maggie Holmes things that I was running low on. So um, I got some more of the Flourish Gold Leaf Trim. Um, I've been using a lot of carousel lately, so I've been using up all my supplies. So I grabbed another pack of the carousel ephemera, which you guys have, you know, seen before. I grabbed some carousel like the gold word stickers where you get two because I didn't have any of those um, I grabbed more of you know these enamel enamel stickers because like I said I only had like I used my last pack the other day in some mail so I wanted a couple more I like to um yeah Keep making things with with older um, older collections. So, and I also like to gift to my pen pals as well, like these sorts of things. So I need to have them in my stash. I grabbed another um, carousel paper pad because um, I've almost used up the one I've got. Um, I grabbed some more Willow Lane ephemera because I think this is a really cute, um, 
cute ephemera pack this one with the cute you know um cats and pandas and and bunnies and things like that so i grabbed another one of those because so, i don't know how much of the willow lane i have left i don't think it's much so um i grabbed some more all heart puffy stickers um this is sort of all she had left like she only had some of the paper left some of the puffy stickers left and some of the stickers left so um yeah i thought better grab them while i while i can because yeah they're going out of stock guys like things disappear so quickly it's not funny um so there we go we got the sticker sheet as well which you guys have seen um, so grabbed that um and then something new that i found i thought i'd grab a pack of it's a new heidi swap collection let me see if it says what it um it's called honey and spice And it has a lot of um, like your autumn sort of colours, like pretty pale pinks and greens and mustard yellows, like your burnt brown sort of colours. So online when I looked at that, I thought that looked really cute. It's got some cute little dogs in there, um, like bikes, cameras, a typewriter with, you know, Oh, sunny. <laughs> a typewriter with a beautiful, like, floral piece coming out of it. Some tickets. Like, look at the cute little French bulldog there. So, I thought, this looked like a really beautiful collection. Um, I guess I only wish that when Heidi Swap released her collections that she did a full collection, kind of like um, how Crepe Paper and... Dear Lizzie and all of them people do it, do their collections because she only does the paper, an ephemera pack and like stamps, that sort of stuff. Um, I'd love it if she did like embellishments and chipboard stickers as well. I think that would be, that would be great. Like, could you imagine the chipboard stickers and embellishments to this collection? It's such a beautiful collection. So all I was able to get was the ephemera pack. So, um, you know, and they look really cute. So some really big, like, floral pieces in there by the looks of it. Looks really cute. Some cute tickets. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, there's my, um, my haul. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment and subscribe if, if you haven't already. And um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.